Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Text type is vector based and collected in a set of symbols and characters that we call a typeface or font. Remember there are two basic types of text in Photoshop, point type and paragraph type. Point type is useful for entering a word or single line of text, and paragraph type is useful for entering and formatting multiple lines of text as one or more paragraphs. Whenever you create text in a Photoshop image file, a new text layer is added to the layers panel. Let's first examine how we can create point type text in Photoshop. Point type allows you to create text where each line of text is independent of the other lines. As you type, the length of the line will grow. If you delete characters, the line of text will shrink. However, the line will not wrap to the next line of text. So to create a point type text layer, first select the horizontal type or the vertical type tool from the toolbox. We'll go over to the toolbox and we'll right click and we'll choose the horizontal type tool. At this point, your mouse pointer will turn into an I-beam character, and this character marks the baseline of the text. The baseline is the line upon which the text will rest if it's horizontal, or it will mark the center axis of vertical text. Then, just click into the image at the place where you want the text baseline to appear. Next, use the options bar to set your font options. First, we have a button that allows you to change the text orientation. This is a toggle button that allows you to switch between vertical and horizontal options. So you can just click it to switch it. Then you use the font dropdown right next to that to select which typeface you want to use for the text. These will be familiar to you from other applications. Just give that a click. The font style dropdown right there allows you to set whether the text is regular, bold, italic, etc. And this changes for each type of font typeface depending on what's available for that particular font. Next, you use the font size dropdown to set the size of the font in points. You can use the dropdown to select one of those choices or you can enter a value into the text box yourself if you prefer. Then set the anti-aliasing mode for the text using that dropdown, which prevents jagged text edges, and so you can choose none, sharp, crisp, strong, smooth, we'll leave that on sharp. The next three buttons allow you to set the alignment of the text. You can choose the left align button to align multiple lines of text by their left sides, center align to align the text by the horizontal center point, or right align to right align the text lines. Then you can click the font color box which will launch the color picker, we've seen this before, where you can select the font color that you want to create. Just give that a click and say OK. You can also click the create warped text button right here. We'll look at this in an upcoming lesson. And that will launch the warp text dialog box where we can actually apply a shape to our current text. After that, you can click the toggle the character and paragraph panel button right here to toggle those panels on or off. And we'll look at those panels in detail in upcoming lessons. Then to apply your changes when you're finished, you have to click the confirm check mark right here at the end of the options bar or cancel with the cancel. So you can just start typing at this point. Like that and then click accept and then you will leave the editing mode. Now let's look at how we can create paragraph text in Photoshop. When you enter paragraph text, the lines of type will wrap to fit the dimensions of its bounding box. You can enter in multiple lines of text easily here with a paragraph alignment that you set up in the options bar. You can then change the size of the bounding box to change the flow of the text within the bounding box. 
You can do this while you're entering text or later after creating the text. You can also use the bounding box to rotate, scale, and skew the type in the bounding box. We'll look at that in upcoming lessons as well. So to create paragraph text, select one of the type tools. We'll keep the horizontal type tool that we've already selected. And then click and drag with your mouse to set the border of the bounding box into which you'll type the text. Like that. Then you set your options up in the options bar just as we did with the point type text. And after that you type the text that you want into the bounding box. Like that. Now you can press enter on your keyboard to create a new paragraph. Unlike point text, however, you do not need to press enter to create a new line within the same paragraph as the text, as we see here, will automatically wrap when it encounters the edge of the bounding box. If you type more text than the bounding box can hold, you'll see a small icon appear that looks like a square divided into four quadrants. That's right here at the bottom. And that icon indicates that the text is overflowing the bounding box. So you can resize, rotate, and skew the bounding box to adjust it as you type the text if needed. So you just rest your mouse over those resizing handles and you can click and drag the bounding box like that. Just as we did with our point type text, then when you're ready to commit to those changes, click the check marks. And that's how you create both point type and paragraph text. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.